Hi, it's Pavel with another uh, little exercise uh, for Visual Basic, uh, working with databases again. And this is uh, for exercise 10, section 1, and exercise 44 from the book, uh, Introduction to Programming Using Visual Basic. And we will be writing a program that displays the names of the films from the actors table in a list box. When the user clicks on the film's name, the famous lines from the lines table that were spoken in that film should be displayed in a second list box. So here's my form. Over here, he's got a, we got a list box for the movies. So when the form loads, it will be filled with uh, the movies. And when we select any of the movies over here in this uh, list, uh, uh, list box, we will display the famous quotes from that movie. The database itself is an access database. It has only two tables, table lines and actors. So famous lines, it's got a column famous lines and film. And uh, table uh, actors has the film and the male lead. So we really don't need the actors. We all, at the moment, uh, all we, we can get the data from the lines uh, table only because all we need is the film name and the famous lines from it. Okay, so I have the dat database. I'm going to copy it or paste it into my uh, debug folder. Like that, the movies database. And uh, it's an access database. So let's do our data uh, uh, binding with the binding source. Then I click it and go to properties. In the data source, I will select add project data source and click database data set. And I will change this data source to Microsoft Access Database. Click OK. And I will select the database or the location of it, which is in my visual basic folder. And here's the exercise. So bin debug and here's my movies. All right, so let's test it. Connection succeeded. So we're good to go. So over here, I will select the movies database, of course, click next, next. And from the tables, like I said, we do not need actors because we don't need the name of the actor. Uh, we need the name of the film, but the name of the film uh, is actually in both tables because it uh, serves as a foreign key. So I will simply click on the lines table only and click finish. So now our data set has the lines table, but I'll go to data member to create the lines adapter. So now we have everything ready. Then I go to my form load uh, event. You can see that the, the data, the table adapter was uh, created. And from here, I will populate the list box with the movies. So I will do a query equals from a movie in uh, and it was movies data set dot lines and I will select movie and the, it's I'm um, yeah the table film so now our, our list of movies data source will equal to the query to list so that's simple we will populate it should populate the list box with the movies and here it is okay see uh, there's some double movies obviously and some famous lines from uh, you know the, from the table uh, they have is listed twice in other words uh, it lists the movies twice so over here I will do distinct so I will select uh, only distinct data only so each uh, movie is represented only once and I will actually sort them uh, oh, now my visual studio not responding okay Good. never mind so uh, over here I will do order by movie which is the movie name uh, and I will order ascending alphabetically so when I run it now I got all the movies and each of them is their 
represented or listed only once. Okay, so now when we click any of the movies over here, we should display the movie lines. So I'll double click the list box, which is which brings me to the select index changed event, and I will do yet another query, uh, which will be from uh, your selecting line. So I'll name the uh, element line in uh, our data set lines uh, table. And um, which ones am I selected? Well, I'm selected only the ones where the line that uh, film or the name of the film equals whatever was selected. So it's the list uh, list box lines. I mean, sorry, list box movies that selected item. And we will return or select uh, all the lines. Line dot famous lines is the table. So over here we we query uh, the, the lines table, but we only select records that match the selected item of the list box. In other words, we only select films with the same name that is being selected, and we will return the famous lines for that movie. All famous lines. Okay, so now what we need to do is list uh, lines the uh, data source, which now of course equals query that to list. So let's see what we get. So you see that, uh, for example, a few good men has only one one famous lines. You can't handle the truth. But you can handle Visual Basic. You can do it. I'm telling you. Anyway, it's Casablanca. Three lines. Aliens. Game over. <laughs> yeah, so it's working. As you can see. All right, so. Game over. Program over. I'm out. I hope it helps you. And I'll see you next time. Take care.